uh, just kind of talking off the air a little bit about some of the uh, political ads uh, that you see during this time of year. And every year they seem to get even uh, wilder and, and uh, <laughs> push the envelope a little bit more, not necessarily in Florida as much, but uh, I guess there was one up in uh, Harold Ford. Uh, kind of the ad the of the in ten, which is, uh, borders on a little bit of racism. Uh, a lot of people think racism, that? sexism. I saw, I saw, I've seen it played several times. Uh, some people found it offensive. Um, Harold Ford's people raised a ruckus about it, uh, and even some of the Republicans up there asked that that it be pulled. And it was his opponent, I believe. Yeah. Well, his, yeah, his opponent, and even and others up in the Republican National Committee in Washington that sort of oversee these races and put money into them said, hey, wait a minute, that crosses the line. You had the, uh, the, uh, the Fox, uh, the, the entertainer, the Fox with uh, his situation in Missouri, trying to campaign for the Senate candidate out there um, for in, in wanting stem cell research. Mm -hmm. Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Right. Fox, and it's, you know, that, that issue is on the ballot in Missouri. So he's out there playing that card. And uh, Rush Rush Limbaugh, Rush Limbaugh jumps on him and says he's off his meds, and he was just sort of accented his, his shaking from his uh, Parkinson's. And and uh, Fox said, you know, I'm not off my med. You know, uh, do you want me to do you want me to be well, ironic that uh, Rush would say something about but, being on but meds? Be, be on medicines, right? I mean, so I mean, you just uh, there there are just so many so many ways, as we were saying earlier, that uh, you can negatively advertise against an opponent even if it's not necessarily true. Uh, if some aide did something and the, the, you know, the candidate gets blamed for it, uh, people are digging up all kinds of things. And by the time you don't, have, if you don't respond quickly, it becomes part of that, the, the, you know, the electorate's psyche. I mean, they, if, you don't, if you don't have a, a team that's out there trying to put out fires on this, you, I mean, you've got to respond within two hours or it becomes fact. You know, mm -hmm. people. You know, people say, "Oh, we don't listen to it." I'm not voting because I'm not going to vote for. But they say that that's the kind of thing that people remember. They don't remember saying, "Oh, he voted for this and that, and he got so much money, or she got three bridges put in the district." You say, "Hey, you know, they didn't, you know, didn't fill out their income tax form or whatever it might be." People remember that. Yeah, the visual image of some of these yeah. ads. Yeah, and, very strong. Uh, even locally, getting back to the Jennings Buchanan, you see some of the ads that. Uh, running against Jennings, they show the most unflattering picture you can of your opponent. Sure. And uh, sure. kind of innuendo in the ad, but people can draw their own conclusions, and I guess that's the point of it, right? Sure. Don't be too specific, but exactly. point it that way. And, and exactly. your experience just covering politics, those ads unfortunately work, don't they? Well, they do work. Like I say, they do sort of sit in the, in the electorate's head, and uh, you're right. I mean, depending on where you're coming from, uh, those pictures, you can take a, a unflattering picture of somebody because they're in them, their eyes are closed right. or whatever it might be. And the New York Times has run pictures of Republicans on the front page. Uh, and, I mean, they did Bob Dole when he fell off the stage uh, a few years ago when he was campaigning in 96, um, you know, trying to get up and he was disheveled and, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, uh, it's, you can sort of, if you read between the lines, you can almost tell where that particular news outlet is coming from. And when you get to this last two or three weeks, uh, it's, uh, you know, Buchanan and Jennings, uh, the local paper, did a, is, is doing a comparison. every. And yesterday they did one. And uh, if you look at it, uh, you can see that they favor Jennings. I mean, you can, you can read it in the news. I mean, I could read it in the news pages. Sure. You can see how they presented her and how they present him. It's not blatant, but if you read the whole story, you, you, you sort of understand, and then you know the, the endorsement comes out Sunday for Jennings. And so, you, if you're watching this stuff, and it's just not just here; it's it's all over the country. I mean, I was up in Detroit, and I was reading the paper up there, and there's things going on, you know, in that in that area, same as here. So, in your experience, is it more bias now for uh, for newspapers or news outlets for? A particular side of the issue than maybe when you started, or I, is it just people talking about it more? I think it's more. I think it's more pointed. Uh, I really do. Uh, the race for governor in uh, in Michigan, Grand Home, the woman who's been there four years, she almost, I mean, she was down in the polls early on. She's running against this guy, Dick DeVos, whose dad started Amway. Sure. Uh, I saw Dick, who I've known for a long time, I saw him at the baseball game. And he's got a camera crew walking with him, doing ads at the Tigers game. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's just... You know, it's 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 every little thing they do now. You didn't just have a camera crew following you everywhere you went, you know. But now now they do, um, and uh, so I think it's more pointed. 
it's uh, the edge is a little sharper. The knives are a little longer. And so many more outlets out there. Cable news, obviously, sure. pounding away. Sure. Uh, I believe MSNBC is doing the entire week, Decision 2000. Every day. Every day, which that wasn't 20 no. years ago, even 10 no. years ago they no. didn't do that. Every day. Even in cable. Yeah. No, you're exactly No matter what right. you do on the campaign trail now, it's going to be seen somewhere right. within 10 minutes, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm watching, I'm watching 60 Minutes on Sunday night, and the first piece out of the box is... Uh, is Scott Pelley doing a story in Iraq about uh, injured uh, uh, U.S. servicemen and uh, in the operating room and got permission from the families uh, to watch the oper you know, to watch the operations on their sons. One survived, one didn't. But CBS didn't just happen to put that in there this week for no reason. Mm -hmm. This is a news outlet that is noted for its liberal you know, stand. And so, and they oppose the war, and they want to turn those, turn those heads and turn those stomachs out in that audience, and so they put it out there. And, uh, you know, it was as, uh, it was as vivid, uh, you know, as, as any movie you might see in a theater about <laughs> crime and blood and the rest of it. I mean, so, I mean, there, it is, it's very, very hard-edged, I think. Just talk a little bit about uh, the big news story tonight. John Kerry apparently making some mm. comments about... Uh, to paraphrase, the soldiers that are serving over in Iraq uh, not well educated, and uh, President Bush responded to that, saying that was nonsense. Uh, uh, kind of odd that he would make those comments a week before an election, which may spur the conservative base to go out and vote against Democratic candidates. Uh, does that make any sense to you? Or? Uh, no, but Kerry really didn't handle himself well two years ago, which is why he's not sitting in the White House. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is the same guy who didn't say NASCAR; he said National Association of. You right. know, <laughs> you know, he, he he just doesn't he doesn't know when you know he sort of opens his mouth to change feet and he I mean he may have hurt the cause here for you know for the Democrats you just don't know you don't know what's going to turn that Christian base the that very conservative base uh, get out the vote you know drives that people say hey they put that up like they do in a clubhouse in a ball game mm -hmm. you know some player says something that's, board material yeah says something that you know I can hit this I can hit this I can hit the cover off this pitcher every time I'm up to bat boom it goes on the bulletin board. And it just sort of revs up that other team. Yeah. Could happen.